Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, here in the Warrior. And it's kind of figuring out what to do this time. The, the rain has gone away, the poplars are planted, and I don't think there's anything else about to need harvesting. We do own one, or five now, and weather is off, so this should sit here in this state until we're ready to conclude the series with a big harvest there. We did plant corn and poplars and potatoes. <clears throat> and those three I wanted to see harvest. So I have those to do yet. Um, looking down at my bucket list here, we still have a couple more greenhouse types to look at, meaning like the, the, the beehives and, and that sort of thing. Maybe some... Uh, uh, well, some of the other options in there. We'll peek that at that real quick. I um, want to do some logging. And let's see. Sell grain by the train. What I'm thinking of is when we take all the logs by train to the mill, sawmill, we also have access to the Maplefield mill, which is given a really good price right now on soybeans. We only have a little over a million dollars left, and we still have some equipment to buy. So we could use a little shot in the arm here. Like maybe both of these guys. We could find out if the train does have the ability to handle two different kinds of grain. I'm pretty sure there were two grain cars. I'm hoping. So let's spend this time looking at greenhouses, looking at bringing these two to the mill, and that ought to finish off our daylight hours. And then maybe tomorrow in game we'll work with the uh, with the sawmill and logging and get more of the logging uh, equipment. Let's see, logging, because we still got to pick up the forage harvester for the poplars. That's this guy, 374,000. And the header for that is, that's right, we're going to lease that equipment. All right, that's not a problem. In fact, we could lease everything from here on out just to finish the series. We could. Yeah. Um, so we we wanted one more harvester and header, so I have three of those going. And what I was thinking about was the, oh, I don't know where it would be, the IT Runner Pack. I downloaded that. as That's a mod, I believe. Yeah, that's just a regular mod. That was a an upgrade, I think, in either 13 or 15. But at this point, I think it's just a mod. Um, so essentially, let's see, where do I even start to find that? Go to tippers. Where would the base be? Is that the base there? That's the base there. So if we grab this one, and then this guy works with everything. Is there a better one? This guy. That's probably more appropriate. Grain container. So we could haul the grain through this system here from field five. Now, can I couple these guys? Can he attach to another one? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's a one-time shot. He holds how much? This guy? Um, so he attaches to ITR 2633 right there. So he holds 45,000. Okay. Two of these. Uh, where am I? right here will be 42,000. What did I just say for, say for that? That's 45, so it holds a little bit more than two of those trailers. Otherwise, we get into this guy, which is back semi-truck. Where are you at? Dollies, cars. Boy, I would think it would have its own category. Low loaders. Did I miss it somewhere? Let's go to the beginning. Right there, trucks. So we could get into these guys. I've never run these before in the game. I just don't see these rolling through fields. That's always felt odd to me. Um, hauling livestock or something like that makes sense. But I don't know about emptying harvesters out in the, in the dirt. So in that case, back. I think we're looking at a tractor. What Do we have the what pretty much is the biggest tractor. We, we've got... Where are we right now? Is this the warrior? This guy? No. Is there one bigger yet? 
He's green. That's the Voltra. Where are we in regard to this stuff? I really thought it was this guy. Let's go down one more. We're at this point right here. Ah. So if we went into something with a little more meat to it, a little more, a little more power, 295 plus upgrades. Both of these guys could do it. The New Holland. We haven't tried the big New Holland. The T8. For that matter, if we get out over here, we get the Voltra. This is the cow edition. This is, came with the uh, uh, pre-ordering the game. I've never actually bought and run this one before. In fact, there's a good chance this hasn't been seen on many YouTube series before. Only those that ordered the game right at the... Uh, pre-ordered it, got it. I don't know if there was a way to get it afterward. Maybe maybe there is now. But this guy right here, let's let's assume we're going to buy that. We do have a, a way to change colors. And front loader attachment, engine setup. So right now we're running at only 210 horsepower. We can get up to the 250. Okay. So it's not necessarily a more powerful tractor because it's at this end. It's only because it's at, you know, it's, it's a mod, so it dropped it at the end over there. Otherwise, I think we're looking at probably something like this. 350 horsepower for hauling full trailers, tippers of grain out of Field 5. You've seen how slow the warrior went up the hill with two partial trailers, and they were the little trailers at that. So he may have some trouble with these big trailers all filled up, especially if we get the IT runner pack attached to it. Yeah. So I think that is the plan there. And, yep, yeah, let's go ahead and um, lease all these things. Just so we don't have to try to fight money to, to finish it off. In fact, let's go ahead and get this... Not the garage. Uh, back. Let's go ahead and get this set up. The Voltra, so we wanted this guy here. This Voltra, select. We'll go with the black. I kind of like that. Unless we do some shade of gray. That's kind of what it looks like there. We'll go with that. Um, main color. Oh, I can change main color. What are you? Rim color. Oh, okay. So something like that looks kind of like a... Uh, I think that'll work. This guy will go down one grade of color and wheel setup wheel weights yeah other choices wide and thin and standard and weights okay and then you are 400 horsepower we'll do that right there the s series that change no so the name doesn't change okay so lease him for twenty five thousand dollars a day initial costs your base okay then another three thousand per day after that Plus that much per operating hour. Wow. All right, so lease you, and we'll just have you sitting there waiting for us. And I think we'll go ahead and get a lot of these pieces ordered since we know we're going to be using them. That is Tipper's IT is out in this area, right? See back one? He's right there. So that's the base. That looks like a ball joint to me rather than a, a fifth wheel setup. So I think that will go right on the tractor. We'll have time to test that. Uh, hook lift trailers can lift and transport several different kinds of containers. And I believe there's even logging applications with this. That's kind of why I want to get it early. So you select and... Hmm. Yeah, I think the base should be black. So lease you. Back. And grain. I want to be able to grain it. What is this guy for? They all say this. They all have the same description. I'm kind of feeling like livestock or something with this guy. I'm not real sure what that is. But that's what it looks like. I, don't, I can't think of any crop that we have here, except for maybe hay bales that would go into something with an open front. But this guy, select and green. All of our other tippers are a shade of green. What could this guy be? It's a little different. Browns? Hmm. Let's go there. Kind of a tan. 
All right, that'll be sitting there waiting for us. Perch oh, no, let's lease. Yes. Okay, still over a million. Back. So that's all waiting for us. Let's peek into the timber industry, forest equipment. And the IT runner pack had this guy. So that's what I'm considering to haul our trees to the train with. But we want to grab them with something more substantial. Something in here. Ah, what's the difference here? We got this. Ah, this is an IT. This is self-contained with its own trailer. And probably fifth wheel. Okay, so we want to go this route. You, not garage. Keep doing that. Do that again. Back over there. You, select. And green looks great for forestry. Lease you. Now, for cutting the trees down, I don't know. I mean, this looks this looks crazy. <laughs> this loads it in, does this job, so that won't be necessary. It has a crane that I believe has basically this piece on it. This does two. The difference is very large trees cannot be processed on this one, so this one will handle very large trees theoretically. This machine can cut down trees. So can this one. Um, cost, power, 168. So another 100 horsepower more. Fuel, that's probably the one we want to experiment with. So let's select and lease you. Wheel setup, tracks, and standard. Let's do tracks. Let's just see what that's like. Lease you, yes. All right, pick it up over there. Yep, back. All right, I think we're done for a bit. I think so. We may not even see this equipment this episode. It might be what we'll start next time with. But right now, now that that little bit of homework's done, let's go load up a couple of uh, big tippers, which I just put away. They were sitting right out there a little bit ago, and I cleaned up. <laughs> so let's go unclean up. Now, it was the fixed tongue in front and the dolly in the back if I remember right let's see let's back in all right fixed tongues over there um I guess actually I want to be um let's see that way. I want to be aimed a little bit more in this direction. So come in from over here. There, that feels better. Right there. That didn't attach. Oh, I'm not close enough. There we go. So, out with you. Can I do this entirely from in cab? I really can't, because I just can't see around it. The mirrors just don't angle in a way that I can do any good. When you're normally sitting in something like this, you can lean over and change the way, what you're seeing in the mirror so you get more of a you know, more of a view. All I'm seeing is the trailer next door. So, I can't do that. Because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Which means angling him in like that, and then straighten him out. Dropping in right about there on top of that tongue. There it is. Yeah, perfect. All right. So we're looking at soy and sunflower. These guys right here. Anything else? No. Spinnery is a, theoretically a low price, huh? We, we could get rid of the wool before this series ends, too. Forgot about that. 1700 there, 19. Yeah, let's do that. All of the soy, which is going to fill up one and a half of these. Oh, I wish I can get another trailer on. Um, back shop garage. Now, can I hook up any other trailers in any other combination or tippers? All right, you're a 302 and a three, two different forms of 302. Can any of these guys hook up to. 
you can hook up to the back of a 302. Now you are the 1600. Uh, let's leave the screen right there. So you can also hook up to a 1600, but you can only hook onto there. So that's at the back right now. You can hook onto here though. Huh. Theoretically, I can get two of these in front of these guys. Unless he's only meant to go... Hmm. Let's try this. See if we can set up a quite a train here. Now, how best to achieve this? I mean, it's tough enough backing up two trailers. Backing up four. <laughs> so, let's see. If I get the right one, I don't. G over to that one and Q. All right, let's try something here. Because I have more grain than can fit in one trailer of each type. So I need a big one and a little one of each kind of grain. And we're either making two trips or we're taking a train. All right, so grab you. Pull forward. that way all right pull out of that right there there you are now let's see if this works and can I make this attachment early on when I just could not figure out how to back up double trailers I would eventually just give up you know, before I was re recording for the channel, pop the, the uh, break them loose, drive the tractor over, ram that back trailer <laughs> until it's in the right position, then back it up. <laughs> All right, so if I start going this way, what happens? You're going to turn like that, which is going to turn like that. But I've got to not go so extreme. So if I pull out now, we do that. Yeah, that's pretty close. So since then, I've gotten a little bit of a, of a of skill trying to make this happen. At least enough to give me a clue what I'm doing. But I'm a little bit too much of an angle here. Let's see. If I pull out like this, that's pretty close. If it's going to attach, I should get a symbol here right now. Nope, it's not going to attach. Or is it saying that's just not close enough to call it good? Well, let's let's pull out like so. Now, I need that back end to go off to the right. Well, my right. How am I going to do that? If I do this, that will do it, but I need a little more room. Right there. Like that. Eventually turn like that. And that should kick him off that way, but now we're going too far. So pull back out of that. Where's that at? That's where you have somebody back there as your eyes trying to guide you. Let's see, that's the wrong way. Pull back this way and go like so. There. That's looking really... Well, it was. So I'm not certain that these actually attach. Now if I do this... Will that unwind that? Kind of. Yeah. There we go. That looks pretty straight. If that doesn't do it, then it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Okay. They're not meant to attach that way. Darn. So two is all I'm going to get. So let's just... Um, actually, we'll sit right over here. And, oops, the other way. G, Q, there we are. Do I got room to spin in here? I don't. Okay, well, we're just going to work with uh, what we got. We'll see how the timing of this episode works out. I may do one run with this and then off camera do the other half runs, half trailers or tippers. All right, Q. Now remind myself it was sunflower and soy I 
verify that when we get around here. Didn't have enough angle to pull in straight. So let's go around. Alright. Sunflower, soy. Okay. R, and I want sunflower start, and we'll just go till he fills, which is 21,000 liters. Like the dust that flies up. Nice realism. Alright, right in there, R, and soy is next. Start. Okay, let's get this over to the train loading. What would you call that structure? That uh, loads it onto the onto the train. Not sure. I need to get in that cab though. I can I can see that. It would be all over the place. All right. I would think that most grain mills would have a train loading uh, feature to them. Yeah, most of them will have a spur track that uh, rides up alongside. But this one deals with logs too. So beside the mill part of it, what would the, the loading part be, be considered? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. Actually, there is a name on the side of this building. Can I still see that from here? I have to go from a different angle. Transport Hub. Central Transport Hub. Okay, that answered that question. Great. Um, I'm going to do this from the outside. And that is the load, so this is the unload in here. And in here, I would probably want to unload through the grain door. So, which does take a long time, but that would feel more realistic. You, trying to read and drive at the same time. Uh, let's see, right, back, and grain door. There you are. And then I is unload here. Yeah, there's a grain door in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it when we get in there. Well, I guess I can pop through this wall, can I? There we go. Um, right in there. Alright, I. Well, that didn't work the way I thought it would. That's not the green door. That's the back door. Hmm. Alright, I. G. And let's set this guy for green door. So, tip back. Let's see. U. That was green door. Let's see if this one works. Right there. Let's go a little further. And I. That one worked. The other one didn't. This is the dolly. The other one's a fixed. I wonder if there's a script bad on that one. That's why that one failed. It is taking longer, but it's still going a lot faster than what it would in reality. That's a lot of, a lot of grain coming through that tiny little opening. All right that pull out of here and actually there's there's plenty of time let's go finish off the uh, the rest of the grain I don't think we're gonna need either of them the the uh, pigs are fed I'm thinking that we're kind of done with that let's sell off everything we can and and make some cash behind the slow car you could do a monster truck thing and drive over the top of them <laughs> I know, I'm tailgating. Let's see, zero. 
There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of weight on this guy. Be interesting to get the the new tractor and see what uh, what, what that's like. We'll do that next episode. Start running the new equipment. Now I need to get over there, so I think this is the... Yeah, I don't know if there is a better way. Kind of half and half. This way lines us up the best for the shoot, though. So we'll say this was the better way. Soybean, start. Let's finish this off. Which is what? Another 10 or so? 10 to... Yep, about there. And this will be less, I think. Sunflower. Of course, you know, we're going to come up with another use for this stuff as soon as it's all gone. This is the one there was more, right? Ah, it shifted up to the top up there on the little bottom right window. That's why it surprised me. Okay, so back to the train. I guess there is no real easy route. I'd have to weave through the farm. Oh, just for fun, we could shoot through this. Now, what else? Oh, that's right. I wanted to look at the last of the uh, of the placeables once this is done, especially the bees, the beehives. Let's see what that's all about. I'm wondering about the solar panels and the uh, the. Well, I think the big windmill, wind power was about a million dollars all on its own. So that's probably a no for us. Even with what we eventually sell these things for. Alright, do I check for Green Door one more time or do I just assume that this is not going to happen? So, one more time. It's set for Grain Door. Okay. I. It worked this time. Hmm. Now, we've got the opposite grain in here, in case that's a thing. Okay. So, if this one fails, then we know it has something more to do with Sunflower than the kind of trailer. Nope, oh, they're all working. Okay. Well, I guess the game just had to figure it out. Now it did. So we'll dump these off and head over and play with beehives. an interesting effect on the windshield. Yeah, the sun is reflecting on it. Alright, so I'm just going to park this over here for now. It's in this area, I believe, that we want to place this guy. Placeables. I'm thinking this one. Bee House. Produces honey, which is sold automatically to earn you money. Bye. Let's see what we think about this. And I was thinking out in here somewhere. Someplace near the chickens. Or near this greenhouse right here. Nice to pull vehicles in to this area though. So probably more like this. And let's rotate like so. What can I line him up with? 
That looks pretty good there. So if he went over here, something like that. And we bought one. All right, so pull out of that. And let's go take a look at it. Where am I? Right over here. Let's see if there's any... Ooh, there are animations. Oh, well, you look at that. So $20,000. The bees are all leaving. I'm about to pollinate the fields. I don't see any bees returning. I'd be curious to see if at sundown they all come back. Wouldn't that be something? Now, south... That's east. That's west. Sun sets over there. No, it sets over there. So that's south. I kind of blocked our, our garden, didn't I? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, well, blocked the light going in. But all natural honey. I like that. So with that, what else? I kind of want to just start first thing tomorrow morning with, uh, with logging. And then loading up the train. And... Take off and sell it all. I think that's the plan. I'm going to make this episode a little bit short and get prepared for that one. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for uh, for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>